The film starts with Puss in Boots telling the tale of a shooting star that fell from the sky and landed somewhere unknown. The legend states that within the star is a single wish, waiting for someone worthy to grant it to. Puss is enjoying his time as a living legend, throwing a party in the home of the governor of Del Mar, and singing a song about what a great hero he is. When the governor arrives, Puss makes a run for it, but not before outsmarting and outwitting the governor and his guards. After setting off some fireworks, Puss awakens the sleeping giant of Del Mar. He engages in an epic battle with the one-eyed giant as it attempts to destroy the town. Puss uses his smarts to wrap a bell around the giant's horns and use it to knock the beast unconscious. Just as Puss and the townspeople celebrate his victory, the bell falls and crushes Puss. Puss wakes up in the office of the town doctor. He informs Puss that the bell killed him, but Puss doesn't care because cats have nine lives. However, the doctor makes Puss think about all the other times he's died, in a bullfight, in a bad poker game, falling off a ledge, getting burned while making cookies, launched out of a cannon, crushed by a large weight, and an allergic reaction to shellfish. That means Puss is down to his last life. The doctor suggests Puss retire from his life of adventure, but the cat is confident he has nothing to worry about. While sitting in a pub, Puss is met by the mysterious Big Bad Wolf. He brandishes two scythes, but Puss is quick to draw his own sword only to be just as quickly disarmed. The wolf proves to be one of Puss's most challenging foes, as he is fast and manages to cut Puss with his scythe. Puss runs into a toilet to hide and escapes through the sewers. Puss runs into the woods, walking devastatingly through the forest in the middle of the night. He journeys all through the night until daybreak when he arrives at Mama Luna's cat rescue, the cat fancier's house recommended by the doctor. Puss in Boots strips himself of his garment hat and boots, burying them in the garden. Heartbroken he says a eulogy to the grave after which he walks heads to the doorstep of the cat fancier. Mama Luna accepts Puss in Boots into her home and he meets more than a hundred other cats. He is given the name Pickles. This becomes his new home and although he found a hard time adjusting to the life of a lap cat, he gradually learns and accepts and adjusts the new life provided to him. Puss in Boots becomes acquainted with a talking dog who has been living with Mama Luna. Disguised as a cat, this dog picks interest in Puss and follows him about. To the displeasure of Puss in Boots, a group arrives at Mama Luna's house searching for Puss in Boots, a girl named Goldilocks and three bears, a highly wanted family of thieves. They burst into the cat rescuer's house searching for Puss in Boots. After looking through the cats in the house, Puss in Boots is found but they do not recognize him because he doesn't look similar to the picture they have. Indeed, he is looking like a shadow of his old self. The baby bear calls the attention of the intruders outside and shows them Puss in Boots' grave. Goldilocks and the bears then conclude that he is dead. Puss in Boots eavesdrops on them and finds out the reason why they are searching for him. They wanted him to steal a map leading to a wishing star from Jack Horner, devious magic collector with no touch of humanity. Puss is surprised by this revelation because he has found a solution to his problem and a way for him to get back his nine lives. Although stealing from Jack Horner is a dangerous decision, he decides to take his chances. Puss in Boots digs out his cape, belt, and boots back. With the assistance of his newly found dog friend, he leaves the cat house and hurriedly runs to the house of Big Jack Horner to steal the map to the wishing star at Jack Horner's restaurant. Puss in Boots watches from the fence. He is planning on how to sneak in without getting caught by the guards. He is also accompanied by his dog friend. Puss gains entrance into the restaurant through the chimney and sees the map to the wishing star being delivered to Jack in his office. He follows them into the office and when Jack wasn't looking, Puss opens the box where the map is and takes it. But a cat who has been hiding inside the box jumps out and kick him and collects the map from him. This cat was his former friend, named Kitty Soft Paws who is at enmity with Puss in Boots because he betrayed her in the past. Puss grabs the other end of the map, and both cats tussle for the map. Goldilocks and the three bears arrive noisily at the scene, drawing Jack Horner's attention to the theft going on in his office. He orders his men to chase after the animals and retrieve his map. He also uses some of the magical artifacts in his possession to attack them. The animals all run for their lives, and the bears and Goldilocks try to take the map from Kitty and Puss. Puss and Kitty safely escapes Jack's men. They ride in a cart where both of them argue about who should have the map. Thanks to the map, they head to the location of the Wishing Star, with the dog riding the cart. Far behind them, Jack Horner follows them using his magical glass ball, and Goldilocks with the three bears follow the trail of Puss and Boots and Kitty sent. The cats and dog arrive at the first location recommended by the map. They walk through a barrier into the dark forest. The map provides different types of paths to the wishing star for the three of them, with the little dog's path being the safest and most beautiful, so they decide to allow him to hold the map, so they follow the beautiful paths. Behind them, the other people searching for them have entered the forest, so they hurry, Puss, Kitty and the dog pass through their first barrier of a pocket full of posies, which, after some difficulties, find their way around it. 
They later get on a boat to the next location, which the map directs them to. Along the way, the dog runs off and gets captured by Jack Horner, who threatens to harm him if Puss and Kitty don't hand the map to him. Goldilocks and the three bears arrive at this scene, and a fight breaks out as they'll try to retrieve the map from Puss. Amid this chaos, Puss in Boots hears the whistling of the big wolf, which was after his life. He becomes scared and runs away from the scene, leaving the map behind. Goldilocks gains possession of the map, and together with the three bears, she goes to find the wishing star. The dog finds Puss laying terrified inside the forest, and he helps him calm his nerves. Puss in Boots reveals to the dog that he is down to his last life, and it terrifies him. When told that he should inform Kitty about this, Puss refuses, saying that Kitty would never trust him because of the past they had. He reveals to the dog that he was supposed to get married to Kitty, but left her at the altar. Puss expresses his regret about that action. Unknown to them, Kitty overheard their conversation. She appears from the thickets, and they go together to find Goldilocks to retrieve the map. Goldilocks and the three bears follow the map and arrive at a cabin that looks exactly like the one they have at home. They enter the cabin and see that it is their home. The bears are excited about this, but Goldilocks is confused about it and feels it's a trap. Inside the house, Goldilocks is shown a vision of how she met the bears. She was an orphan toddler who found her way into the house of the bears, and they took her as family. Puss in Boots later apologizes to Kitty about what happened in their past. She accepts his apology and also reveals to him that she too didn't show up for the wedding. Jack Horner reveals that he want the wishing star, for selfish reasons, he wants to get all the magic in the world for himself. Puss in Boots and Kitty plan to steal the map from the bears. Kitty also offers to share a wish with him. They successfully steal the map from the bears. Along the way, Puss gets trapped in a crystalline cave. Inside, he meets his eight other lives, who reminded him of the fun and adventurous life he used to live. Here he is approached by the bounty hunter wolf, and Puss in Boots later realizes that this wolf is death. Death has always been around during his other lives, and with just one life remaining for Puss, it has come to take him once and for all. Puss, filled with fear, runs away with the map towards the wishing star. He decides to make a wish for more lives. Kitty and the dog see him along the way and call for him, but he doesn't answer them. Puss finally arrives at the wishing star. A stone behind the wishing star is Goldilocks and the bears, where they are arguing, and she reveals the wish she wanted to make at the wishing star. She tells the bears that she wants to find her family. This makes the bears upset because they thought that they were her family. Their discussion is interrupted by a bright light coming from the wishing star, so they all run toward it. Jack Horner also sees the light, and he enthusiastically heads toward it. At the shining star, Puss in Boots begins to read the words that the map writes out for him. He is interrupted by Kitty, who expresses her anger at him for betraying her. Again, she grabs the map from him, and Puss tries to explain to her his circumstances, but she doesn't listen. She hands him the map after he confesses that he is in his last life. Jack Horner, Goldilocks and the bears all arrive at the star and surround Puss in Boots. A fight ensues between them as they all try to get hold of the map. Goldilocks almost gets the map, but sacrifices her desires to save her best family, which is almost getting destroyed. Puss finally gets possession of the map and as he does so, death appears. He challenges Puss to a duel, which Puss courageously accepts. A fierce battle begins between Puss and Boots and Death, they both put up a good fight and after a while, Death retreats and everywhere becomes calm. Puss and Boots offers the map to Kitty to make her wish, which she refuses, saying that she has already gotten what she wished for. They are interrupted by Jack Horner, who has turned into a giant after eating a magical snack from his bag. He attacks Puss and Kitty, collecting the map from them. As he proceeds to read it, he's interrupted by the little dog, who pulls a stunt to buy time for Goldilocks, Puss and Boots and Kitty. They work hand in hand to retrieve the map from the gigantic Jack Horner, after which they destroy the map by tearing it into halves, and this makes the star start crumbling. Everyone jumps off the star except Jack Horner, and he's destroyed together with the star. It is an emotional moment as both teams watch the star explode in the sky. One appreciates the essence of friendship and the other the importance of family. Goldilocks and the bears set out on their way to a new adventure, and Puss and Kitty give the little dog a name Perito. Some days later, the governor is attempting to go on vacation, only to find that his boat has been stolen, and he knows who did it. Puss, Kitty, and Perito set sail for new adventures, as Puss says, to visit old friends. The camera then pans over to the kingdom of far, far away, presumably so Puss can visit a certain mean green ogre. Subscribe for more videos like this turn on notification and leave a like to help the channel out thank you for watching see you in the next one.